You won't know what your limits are until you've gone past them. In the dangerous world of the Outlast Trials, there was a wicked character known as the Pusher. He was a special type of X-Pop, part of the X-Pop's group. The Pusher had a unique appearance, easily identifiable by his gas mask and the device he carried called a fumigator. His job was to cause chaos and despair for anyone unlucky to encounter him. The Pusher's method involved using the fumigator to spray a harmful gas on his victims. This gas was very strong and could make people unable to move. It caused them to see things that weren't real, like a scary figure called the Skinner Man. After releasing the gas, the pusher would quickly run away towards the nearest exit, leaving his victims confused and disoriented. To regain their sanity and stop the hallucinations, the victims had to find and take an antidote. Not much was known about the pusher's background. Just like the strange experiments carried out by the mysterious Murkoff Corporation. During the trials, the pusher would randomly appear from big steel doors with the Murkoff's logo. When he arrived, a loud alarm would sound and he would laugh in a crazy way. Driven by his cruel desires, the pusher relentlessly searched for people called reagents. These reagents had to find hiding places or run away quickly to avoid being caught. Brightly lit areas or making too much noise could give away their location, so they had to be careful. However, the pusher couldn't see well in the dark, which gave the reagents a chance to sneak past him. If the pusher saw a reagent, he would chase them at an unnaturally fast speed. Even though he walked with a noticeable limp, he didn't usually use physical attacks to hurt them. Instead, if he touched a reagent, he would spray them with the harmful gas, which made them lose their sanity and triggered the hallucinations. This was very dangerous for the reagents because the Skinner Man would start haunting them, and it would attract other dangerous X-Pops if they panicked. After successfully spraying a reagent or giving up the chase, the pusher would go back to the nearest steel door and leave the trial. If the reagent managed to escape from him, the pusher would spin around and spray the gas in all directions, making anyone caught in lose their sanity. After leaving the trial, the pusher would be gone for some time before being sent back in by Murkoff. In the world of the Outlast Trials, the story unfolded as the reagents explored a scary mansion. During one of their explorations, the pusher suddenly burst through the door and knocked down a reagent. Taking advantage of the situation, he sprayed the reagent with his gas, enjoying the chaos and laughing uncontrollably. This encounter introduced the reagents to the terrifying effects of the hallucinations and the relentless pursuit of the Skinner Man. The pusher had a distorted and crazy personality. He liked pretending to be a doctor or an exterminator and taunting the reagents with his rude references to medicine and drugs. It seemed like he had become addicted to his own gas, which he used to make others suffer. When the reagents resisted him, he would get angry and try to force his twisted cure on them. The pusher knew that his gas could change people's minds, but he didn't care and continued to serve the Murkoff Corporation without question.